Alright, hello guys, I am Zinpars and I'm gonna do Odyssey Triple Bingo and next to me is Kryptine and he will help me commentate at the start because I'll have to focus on routing so he will be a huge help and he will explain kind of the basics of bingo while I run through Cap Kingdom which is pretty much the same as any percent so yeah, hope you'll have fun, I'll give over the word. Hello. The, uh, the bingo from the game that the old people play to win money or something and in the game uh, we create the bingo board out of tiles and this is a triple bingo so he have, has to complete three rows or columns um, to complete the run the goals are randomly uh, generated but um, with a seed but this ha it has uh, most times some kind of logic, so it makes mm -hmm. sense. But, um, so all the columns and rows are the same difficulty. So in the first uh, minute, he will just look at the bingo board and uh, try to f find uh, the best route, the fastest route to complete um, three rows or columns. Um, so that's why the head, king head kingdom is always the same most of the time. Um, that's the interesting part of the bingo. It's not only like the, you have, don't have, don't only have to get good skills for the speedrun, but you also have to do all the routing on the fly. And he will um, mark. You don't actually see the bingo board, I think, on the stream. There's a command for it. There's a command in the chat if you want to look at it. He will uh, mark um, what goals he wants to do or uh, which one he has completed. Nah, um right now we're just completing the head kingdom, going uh, to the boss. And uh, defeating it in uh, maybe you probably saw some Mario Odyssey already. It has a lot of like different goals you can have. You can have like the purple coins or specific amount of moons in the kingdom. And with that, uh, it was a good game to make some bingo boards out of it. Alright, I'm gonna take over, thanks Kryptine. Um, it's actually quite a rough board. Um, I'm not 100% sure on my route yet. But I'm gonna explain my thoughts in a second. So, the bingo finishes once you mark the last goal, you don't have to complete the game. That means I want to finish it as early as possible. And I think I can finish it without going to Met Day Metro. So that's what I'm actually gonna do. Um, I got told on. So I'll just have to mark some stuff on the bingo board and then I'll be ready. Currently I'm just... Huh? need for stuff. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just doing the any percent. Um, because I, n I need to defeat Madame Brood anyway, so that's a good way to start. That gives also gives me a bit of time to think about the rest. Um, 
I can still route out something. I have to think about what I want to route out. Okay. Um, currently, I can route out either Sand World Peace or Seven Timer Moons. Okay. And I think I'm gonna route out Sand World Peace. Um, yeah, hold on. I think that's good. Um, okay, yeah. Let me just quickly check my route to make sure that I didn't miss anything. But yeah, this should be a good route. Okay. Um, just gonna mark the route for myself. Oh, <laughs> getting manipulated here, but it's fine. Okay, so that's my route. My route is row four, bottom left, top right, column five. Which means in Cascade I need timer challenges. And I also need um, the treasure chest. And that should be everything. Oh, 25 regionals. Okay, I should grab some regionals here, but there are a lot of regionals nearby, so I should be fine. Yeah, I think this is... The so yeah, about routing. Like, I try to route out the snow and seaside goals, because if I don't have to go there, that saves a lot of time. And... Um, that kind of left me with a route... Like, I, I found a route that only needs to go to Night Metro to buy, like, one moon, and then go back to Cloud. And... It might not be the best route, but it was easy to find, and it's usually a good idea to um, finish earlier. I have some long goals, so it might not be the best idea, but hey, I didn't have much time, and the setup is not what I'm used to. Oh wait, I don't need that moon, but I need those. I do need the timer though. Seven timers will actually be rough, oh god. But I'll be fine. Um, two in Cascade, two in Lake. That's four. Um, I could even grab one in Cap. Uh, hold on, I need more purples. I, I think I'll just have the right amount of purples. Yeah, that's actually perfect. <laughs> totally planned, of course. 25 but that's one goal already. And I have two timers and one treasure chest moon. Uh, that's everything for Cascade. Now we're going to Sand. Um, in Sand I need 26 moons. I need lots of treasure chest moons. I need herding the sheep, and that's basically it. Atop the highest tower as well. Um, I have to think about treasure chests, actually. I can get one, two, three, oops, oops, three, um, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, okay, I need lots of treasure chests. So you, you'll see me grab a bunch of treasure chest moons. Because nine before Metro is pretty rough. Um, but, yeah, but I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Let's just have to not forget any. Okay, 26 moons, that means I can grab a bunch of moons. Also, I won't be able to explain much about the gameplay, it's just... I usually do the any percent things, and add some other um, moons 
or whatever the goal is, like purples. Here in sand, I just grab, I, I like I grab the bird here because I'm not quite sure yet what, where I will end and if the bird cycle will work out with the oasis. Um, 26 moons is what I need. That is 10 extra moons. So I could already start thinking about what I might need, but I'll just grab this here and already because I might need that. Um. Yeah, there are no timer challenges here, except if I were to uh, get world peace, but I cut out that goal from my list because it seemed too slow, and I'll be final timers actually. So I'll just go ahead and grab more moons. Um, and do not forget the treasure chests. Oh, well, uh, don't fall down. There we go. Now my plan is to kind of follow any percent and at the highest tower, because that's one of the goals. Um, let me try to do the dram strat here. Oh, nope, okay, never mind. No one saw that. Um, oh, crap, the moon, okay. <laughs> um... You might also um, notice that my gameplay is not as good as in a speedrun, but uh, do I grab this? Yeah, whatever. But that's you sh that's kind of normal for Bingo because you're not following a set route. You're always doing something different, and that that means it's not in your muscle memory. And you also have to keep thinking about what you have to do here, what you have to do in the future. I'll also grab this because it's a quick moon. And then I'll grab this moon. Which is the goal on the bingo card. Now I only need herding sheep and um, two or three treasure chests. I'm still not sure. I think I'll grab all three just to be safe. Also, I grabbed this moon that I unlocked earlier from ground pounding the crate. Yeah, it's a crate. Oh, okay. And now I'm gonna grab this treasure chest with all those quick moons around here, except if I mess it up. I still need 26 moons in sand and a sheep. I don't think 26 will be a big problem. Um, I'll just grab any along the way that I can think of. And oh, rip jacksy. Then I can always add some extra. Uh, I'll grab the checkpoint and this for safety. Um, Sphinx clip? Yeah. I should do Sphinx. I just try to do Sphinx because I like to have some extra coins, even though I, I know that I won't need it here. But it's also... Hello. Quick um, coins. And this is the Sphinx clip. Um, we can clip through certain walls. Oh, come on. You can also just talk to the Sphinx, but you also get an extra moon if you get this clip. Okay. I haven't done this clip in ages, I thought. Okay, there we go. I thought that would be fine. But yeah. That's one of the harder clips. You will see another clip, but that one will be easier. Um, I don't need the coins. No, I don't need the coins. <laughs> no, how many moons? Oh, okay, bonky on the foot, why not? Ten more moons. Okay, that's actually more than I thought. Um, sheep, you're on the wrong side of the... There. And herding sheep is one of the moves that you never see in speedruns except for like 100% and all unique moons. So it's kind of neat to have that in a run. Or in a bingo. 
And yeah, herding sheep is basically knock all the sheep in his pen. Oh no no no, don't hit the cactus. Okay, that's bad. Okay, I saved it. If they hit the cactus, then they go mad and just run away somewhere. Yeah, as you can see, the moon is really slow. I'm not using the optimal strats, probably, because well, I don't know them, because I don't run these categories. <laughs> but yeah, it is, e even if you know optimal strategy, it's a slow moon. Oops. Okay, um... Ten more moons. Let me just grab these while I think about what I'm gonna do. I think it's nine moons. Yeah, nine more moons. Uh, this is an uh, invisible maze. So there are invisible platforms. That's why I can uh, jump on the purple boop. A relatively quick sub area. I think it was once considered to be in any, to be done in any percent. But then we got things clip, I think, and other stuff. And yeah, that idea was rejected. Okay. Um, seven more moons. Um, I think I'm gonna do Harriet. Might not be the best option. But I need to go in there anyway because I really want the um, treasure chest. This clip is easier, at least if you're on 1.0. There we go. <laughs> First try. Um, if I have time, I can explain the clips at some point. Here I did a little camera manipulation, it was really small, so nothing big. Um, oh, my God. Okay, but yeah, basically why I did this clip is because getting the story moons would be too slow. And... Well, and I need this treasure chest in here, because the other ones that I could get are really slow. Uh, so I'd rather get this one. And since I still need extra moons, I can might as well. Um, wait, I miscounted. Whatever. I'll need more extra moons. Um, I can get one, two, three. Two, three there. Um, okay, now, now I have to improvise to try and find an optimal ending to this sand. Um, you can kind of skip this little puzzle that they made there. Just jump right to the treasure chest. There we go. Oh god. Nice. Um, I'm kind of missing one moon right now. Um, 22. Um, trying to think of an idea what I could do. Let me just grab this for safety. I can, I'm trying to be optimal and not grab too many moons and don't leave any quick moons on my way. But it's proving to be a little bit difficult right now. Okay, I have 22. This will give me 25, then I need one more. I could have gone to the... oh, uh to the oasis, but there are also only three moons, so I would have needed one more somewhere, somehow. Oh god. Um, I stand in a certain spot here to manipulate her. Um, if I do that, she does less jumps before she starts her next attack and uh, at the same time gets vulnerable. Also here I stand close to her, then jump away to make her jump only two times before starting her attack. And that will put me up to 25 moons. I need one moon somewhere, and that's really annoying. Um, I have some checkpoints, so I'll probably just warp somewhere and grab a bullet bill. Or Jack, no, Jack's is too slow. Uh, Cactus, bullet bill, cactus, cactus. Uh, I could roll to the oasis. I guess rolling to the oasis would be fastest. Let's try that. I hope there won't be any mummies in the way. 
because if you are in Night Sand, there are those mummies. I don't know if they have names. Um, no, okay, they appear, yeah. They can be really annoying. I lost some time to that, but that's fine. What? Hello? Okay, there we go. Now that's my 26 moon. 2, 4, 6, yeah. And from here on, the warping is faster. That's known from any percent. So that marks my fourth goal. And the end of Sand Kingdom. Um, I got three treasure chests here. The Sphinx, the Jaxi, and the Pyramid. And I got one treasure chest in Cascade, that means I have four now. In Lake I'll get three, that means I have seven. In Wooded I'll get... One... Will I get one? I got... Wooded might be a little bit of a problem, we'll see. But yeah, for now we'll do Lake. Lake is pretty obvious what I'm gonna do. And that will be treasure chests, 14 moons, timers, and Captain Toad. Also, I think my matching was pretty bad there. <laughs> because I, I was just too focused on the board. Um, oh, come on. Why do you grab that ledge, Mario? Um, do I need to defeat the Brutal? I don't think I do. But you're gonna see a pretty cool clip here, um, called Lake Clip. And I will use Bad Collision on that corner to clip out of bounds. Then I grab a checkpoint where I can warp to later. And I'll stay out of bounds um, to grab another treasure chest moon. Oh, no, no, no. I lost sight there. That was a pr is pretty weird. I don't know why that happens, but it happens sometimes. Um, need some time to get the setup here. Usually I'm kind of... I, usually I'm... Hold on. Okay, common wall. Nice, got the checkpoint. And now I'm out of bounds, as you can see. And there's the treasure chest inside here, which is usually really slow. But since I was out of bounds, I got here pretty fast. And getting out of there is also really slow, but I can just warp out um, since I have that new checkpoint. And hey, there's another treasure chest, so that's two already. And two quick moons, if I had gotten it first try. Right? But that's fine. Uh, and then I can grab this fish. Uh, fish. Um. Oh, I do need the Brutal, sad. Um, yeah, I'll grab him right now. Because the timer chances are unlocked after the Brutal. Um, this fight is pretty quick. Because you can just interrupt his, um, his attack phase if you would actually do the right jump. Oh my god. Oh god, um, okay, now I'm scared. There we go. <laughs> if, you, if you mess it up, then it is hard. If you don't mess it up, then it's really easy. Um, let's see. That will put me at nine moons. I need five more. Two timers, Captain Toad, and the treasure chest, which has another quick moon. So I have my five moons already. That I'm gonna grab. Now I can I think about the order? I want to finish in the sub area where the treasure chest is because then I can warp out, which saves one loading zone. Um, I have a checkpoint, so I probably just warp to that, and so I can do start the first timer challenge, jump down to the second timer challenge, and do captain. To yeah, that's a good plan. Um, I'm not sure if it's faster to wait for Cappy or to grab him.
because I need this timer change as well. Oh no. Okay, that's low. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh my god. Uh, not optimal, but I got it. Okay, that's the timers. Now I need Captain Toad. For that, I need a fish. So let's just wait for Cappy here. Faster, please. Okay. Wait, did I miss code again? Hold on. I did miss count again. Wow, okay. So I need one more moon after. Oh, sorry. After Captain Toad, and then two from the sub area. Um, what's the quickest moon? Uh, Dory. It should be Dory. Yeah, no matter where Dory is, it should be the quickest moon available. Oh God. And I, I want one of those fish because they can f swim really fast. And oh, worst possible spot for Dory. <laughs> I was hoping the cycle would reset when I went to Captain Toad. But hey, I learned something today. Dory does not reset when I grab Captain Toad. Now I can grab my last two moons. Which are in the sub area. Oh god. And I want those specifically because one of them is a treasure chest and the other one is right next to it. Uh, if you play this game casually, you might hate this sub area because it is kind of hard. But we have some skips which uh, don't really make it easier but faster. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. I think I've never overshot that jump. But hey. <laughs> Another thing that I learned. Okay, pull back a little bit. And yeah, basically skipping all of this elevator and uh, climbing section. And to finally get to this one treasure chest. That's treasure chest number three in lake number seven total. Yeah, let's mark the lake goal and walk back to the Odyssey also. Captain Toad. Oh, um. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Okay, so uh, timers I have four. I. Uh, I, I will grab a bunch in booted. But I can already tell that I will have way too many moons when I leave wooded because I need world peace. Then I need three timers. Yeah, three timers. Um, then I need one treasure chest. Could also choose. Maybe I'll choose two actually. It will depend on my routing. Like, if I am um, next to the shop at an, at an uh, optimal time with enough purples, then I will do that, yeah. Okay, let me grab the purples already. I will need um, 50, 40, 50 regionals, or maybe 60, but I need a lot of regionals, so I s I'll start collecting them right now. The goal is not as bad as it sounds. Oh god. But I do have to keep track of them. Okay, so there's a little skip coming up called Nut Clip. Let's see if I will get it. Uh, we'll see. Nope, okay. Um, what you have to do is. Backflip into the moon while it appears and uh, throw your cap at the perfect timing. Well, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it is pretty precise. And if you do that right, you kind of get warped, warped upwards. And 
that allows you to clip through the wall, and that would have allowed me to skip the lever that I pulled. Um, I am skipping a bunch of moons because I know that I'm getting tons of moons. I haven't calculated yet how many I actually need. Um, but I'll get uh, three, four, eight. I, I get eight moons just from world peace. Then three from timers. That's eleven. Um, two from treasure chest. That's thirteen. And then I I can get three quick moons anywhere. Oh, that. Okay. Oh, let, let's just do the normal way. <laughs> I tried it once. It doesn't lose that much time if you do the normal way. Um, let me grab that moon, because there's purples over here. Oh, well, okay. Not enough height. Try that again. There we go. Um, okay, uh, here I'm gonna attempt the tower skip. Which basically skips the interior of this tower. And that interior only has two relatively quick moons, but with the amount of moons that I can skip, it's really... They are really too slow. So I just jump right up to the boss. That's something that you usually do if you have World Peace wooded on a bingo board. Except if it's combined with like 28 moons wooded or something. Um... Okay, let, let's let's uh, think about this again. 50 regional coins. I hope I didn't skip the ones earlier. I don't think I did. Um, two treasure chests. I think I'll get two, yeah. Then we can also see outfit changes. Because one of the treasure chests in Deepwood is the outfit door. And you can only access the outfit door if you have the outfit on. And... Usually you don't see that in speedruns because buying an outfit and putting on the outfit and then actually going to the outfit door is all really slow. So, but yeah, in this case, it actually helped me a lot. Let me grab those two quick moons. Then, I gu then I'm guaranteed to have all the moons that I actually need. So from now on I should be able to skip everything. Except if I miscount it again. Um, yeah, buying this outfit. Wearing the outfit. Um, yeah. Also, whenever you buy, whenever you put on an outfit, there's this cutscene that also takes some time. Another reason why we don't do that usually. Okay, oh, don't fall. I see a bunch of purple, so I'm grabbing all the ones that I can see. I probably don't have to worry too much since I need world peace and a bunch of timers. Oh, um, that actually won't work. Hold on. <laughs> I need those, the lower ones. There we go. Because you can barely make that jump. Usually you're supposed to, like, build a stair with those blocks. Like, shooting only down the ones that will actually help help you climb up. Grabbing that checkpoint for, I don't know, safety. Maybe I'll need it later. That one as well, why not? And here we're coming up to the second story moon. Yeah. And the entrance to world peace. Oh, by the way, world peace means... Um, that I have to defeat the boss in this kingdom. Like, insanity would be Knuckle Talk, the guy with the huge fists. Um, in Lake it was the bunny. Because Lake is a short kingdom, so it doesn't have a big boss. And yeah, Metroid would be festival. N not even boss, not even a boss actually, that's... I never thought about that. <laughs> that's pretty special. Okay. Oh no, Mr. Ground Pound. Bum, bum. 
Uh, yeah, this is the boss, that will give me world peace. Uh, and also three moons, which means I only need two more moons after this. Uh, which also means that I grab two ready moons, because I will grab two timer challenges. And two treasure chests, so yeah, once again miscounted. Um, oh yeah, this boss has a little, um, or this, uh, the, the capture that I'm in, the uproot, has a little mechanic in that if you land on this panel in a, s at a certain spot, um, you get, you don't have, uh, landing lag anymore after jump, and if you jump off the panel at a certain point, then you get bigger jumps, and that's why I can basically fly around the arena because normally you, you would just walk like this if you don't do anything but with the two I don't think they are glitches but with the two things that I did I can actually move really fast and I can reach those before they even start moving like normally they move around like this but I'm so fast that he can't even do anything Poor Torque Drift. And... Can mark the square as soon as I, as I grab this moon. Uh, square is here. Da -da 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 -da. So... Oh, actually I need three timers, but um, there are three, so that's fine, but it just means I'll grab another extra moon. I think I'll, f I'll be three over. So lost around, I don't know, 20 sec seconds, 30 seconds to unnecessary moon grabs. Okay, oh, um... Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll just... I haven't thought about where I should drop down to deep woods, but it, it doesn't make a big difference. Um, but I do need more purples, that's for sure. So I'll actually grab those. Uh, 32, I need 50, right? Yeah, 50. Um, I don't need ground pound, I need... Wait, what do I need? Timers and treasure chests. It's just, just in here, which is, well, it's not technically a treasure chest, but it's it's close enough, right? Uh, and also, it's officially a treasure chest. I'm not cheating. Don't worry. We have uh, we have a bingo cheat sheet where all the treasure chest spoons and whatever moons are listed. Actually, I don't need those purples. Whatever. So yeah, you can even check and prove that I'm not lying. I guess speaking of, if anyone is interested in Odyssey Bingo, um, in the Discord server we have a channel for Bingo, and everything that you need is pinned in that channel, or you can also ask. And like, you don't have to be good to play Bingo, you can just play it for fun with like casual strats. You do have to know where things are, but you can also look it up on the cheat sheet if you want. Like, you don't have to go fast. Now, timers. Um, I just want to go out of deep woods at some, somewhere. By the way, that was an um, outfit door. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention. So yeah, that was um, five timers. And eight charges? I I'll count after this, but it might be nine. Um, But yeah, for now, I do need the rest of the timers, because there are no more timers in my route. Um, oh, wait, uh, no, that's post-game. <laughs> you will see that one in darker side. I do want this one. Also, some little skips here and there. Then I think that just warping, warping here is actually fastest, yeah. 
I forgot about this checkpoint for some reason. Okay, that I got two times in Cascade, two in Lake, and three in Water if, if I grab this. So I that will mark my seven timer challenge goal. Oh, what? Okay, I never failed that. <laughs> there we go. And I... Oh, I do need more regionals. Almost forgot about that. So, let's just go down here. How many do I have? 36. There's a ton of regionals here, so I'll be fine with that. Um, counting is hard. I should be fine if I grab these. Yeah, uh, yeah, perfect, it's perfect. Because there's three in this cave. And then two at the start that I actually didn't grab. Thank you. And that's everything. Yeah. Okay, off to lost. Oh, grab. Thank you. Uh, that's this one. So, treasure chests. Cascade one. Um, there. Sand. One, two, three. Lake. One, two, three. Word. One, two. That's nine. Okay. I'm actually done with that goal. So, um, I'm getting close-ish to finish. I just have to do Lost and a few extra moons. Then I have to go to Metro. Oh wait, I need to. I need to defeat Bowser first. That's right. I al I always forget about this in Bingo because uh, there's nothing to do here in Bingo. Like you, you can't do anything. I guess you could lose coins, but I don't think we have any gold that needs that anymore. So yeah, this fight, um... There are some fast threats, like I can... Oh, like I can get hit and lose time for nothing. For no big reason. But I can instantly grab this hat. Then I go around him, so... He only jumps... Look at him, he only jumps one space. There we go. If I hadn't done that manipulation, he had, he would have done a big jump, which loses time because, well, bigger jumps are slower than, than small jumps. Here I'm gonna take damage intentionally, because it makes it easier to grab this hat. And you don't lose any time by taking damage because you get a free refill when this cutscene happens. Normally if you take damage, um, there's a refill cutscene happening after grabbing a moon and that cutscene actually loses you time. So we try to avoid damage as much as possible. So yeah, lost. I need four more moons than any percent. Is that right? Yeah, four more moons. Uh, oh, wait, I don't trust this, hold on. I could have made that maybe, but I wasn't sure. It's been a while. Um, so four more. Um, you know, let's, let's make it easy. One, two, three. If, um, what's the number four? Um... Oh yeah, I know which one. This is kind of a sneak peek for the dark side run that I'll have tomorrow. Um, because you do exactly this movement in that run. So it has to be fast, right? <laughs> That's the one thing that I sometimes do in bingo. Like I patch routes from different runs together. And that usually gives me a decently fast route. Oh, I almost died. Oh, well. But now I'm gonna do a death warp because that's faster than warping. And brings me right back to the top from where I have many options to grab whatever moon I want. In this case, it's that moon that I just missed. Great. Dum, dum, dum. 
And yeah, from now on I'm just gonna do any percent and then grab one more moon at the end. Because they are usually the quickest moons. And it's also in the muscle memory, so um, yeah, this is way possible. Grab the moon. Um Also, I can mention why I'm doing Triple Bingo. I'm not sure if Krypton said anything at the start, but in the community it's it's um, normal to do Triple Bingo because we started as... we st uh, Like at the start we only did Single Bingo. And it kind of felt like just doing any percent most of the time and then in one or two kingdoms you're doing something else. And it was pretty boring. Like, I didn't want to have any percent. So, I came up with the idea of doing double bingo, which is like. I mean, uh, uh, other games usually do double or triple or quintuple or whatever, that's chinko bingo. Or think or whatever. And. Yeah, I, we kinda tried triple bingo and most of us liked it, so we just kept it and. Uh, yeah, most mo most people do triple bingo now. It's, it's like a good mix of things that are different from any percent or any other category, but it's also not too much at all, uh, uh, too much at once. So yeah, I, I really like lock uh, lockout. I really like triple bingo. I also do lo like lockout, but you have to be two people to play lockout, and uh, I'm the only Swiss bingo player. So that would be hard. Okay, so I'm only going here to Night Metro because you need to go there after Lost. And for the picture match, you have to go back to Cloud, which is only unlocked after you... Like, after Cloud, you have to go to Lost. After Lost, you have to go to Metro. So only when you arrive in Metro, you can actually go back to Cloud. And yeah, that's basically the only goal that is in Cloud. And uh, it's only available on a revisit. <coughs> and it's this small little puzzle called Goomba Picture Match. And time is after this moon. Yuma? After this moon is time. And yeah, you basically have to make this face, like, uh, remake it, because the tiles are chaotic. And actually shaking here makes you faster, and the game doesn't even tell you. Also there's a uh, little meme, I guess, in the community, where, like, the points are not that hard to get, so instead of making a Sad Goomba, we make a happy Goomba. <laughs> I should still give me enough points, so yeah. Okay, um. Soon. Time. What's the time? Wow, okay. Yeah. Sub 50, that's, that's a pretty good. It was also a decent board, like, I asked Bright Guy before this um, to give me a seat that that has some interesting things and that has an easy to find route. To be fair, I, st I struggled a bit with the route, I'm not even sure if I found the best route. But yeah, props to him for giving me the seat, because if I had gotten a really bad seat, it could have taken over an hour. But that's like one in a hundred or even less um, possibilities. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. As I said, if you're interested in bingo, just go to the Odyssey community discord, uh, someone will surely help you, you can also ask me. Um, yeah, next up we have Super Mario Galaxy by Aleos, um, he's doing any percent. And <laughs> hope you will all enjoy. I'm signing off, I, I run uh, Darker Side tomorrow, so if you want more Odyssey, stay tuned, it's like 7am our time. Horrible time, but yeah, <laughs> what can we do? And yeah, that's it for me, so thanks for watching and bye-bye.